second week uh, of them being away from school, exams are fast approaching, the national exams, and you have the court ruling that the strike is unprotected. The judge was careful not to say illegal on that one. The teachers are, however, staying put. They're saying we're not going back to school. So standoff is on. The students get to suffer. Um, the teachers are arguing if you're not going to respect a court order and pay us, we're not going to respect when you're told that we are on strike and procedurally. So how do you resolve this kind of an issue? I'll start with you, Jeanette. No, no. <coughs> I wish you had started with Weda because he's the government. I he's, he's the government. <laughs> but uh, what I can say is that uh, this is a total, a clear manifestation of a failed government. Why do I say so? This is a government that has gone to court with teachers, the Labour Court, went to US Appeal Court, went to the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, and the cases, all the cases, the case has been ruled against them. Instead of engaging the teachers, you know, in a bilateral manner like the way they engaged with Museveni on sugar matters, and sit down with them and tell them that uh, let's talk and see how we can pay you. You know, you will see characters just stamping, you know, treasury, uh, CSA, we don't have money to pay teachers. You know, and the cornerstone of this country, one of the pillars of this country is the education sector. We have a situation where 90% of children of this country go to, go to public schools, and today they are at home for the second week. You know, it's embarrassing, it's total embarrassment, and if it was developed democracies, uh, the, 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 this government will have resigned. Will have called for an election because you can't have. But it's not the first time in Kenya's history we had an issue between government that and teachers. That is the norm. You see, bad yeah, manners. but they have not always been the ones yeah. in office. So no. isn't this just an issue At in this terms era, of education? I'm saying in this era. They should have been I the have ones never to seen fix it once and for all. Since I finished college, I have not seen this kind of strike. But <laughs> in this era of today, <laughs> I don't think this government, you know, should sleep pretty and go to Kurusoi and other places to, to shout at the top of their voices when they have this kind of, this kind of scenario or magnitude of problem facing them. Right. It's just, you know, they are saying they don't have money to pay teachers when you can see the issue here is that they have not prioritized it as a, as a priority issue. They have not made it a priority to pay the teachers. Okay. When this government wants to pay someone, they do it very fast, including the Anglo leasing. 1.4 billion. So, Senator, the government appears to be alone in a corner. The entire country is behind the teachers, largely, from what we've been seeing. So, shouldn't they just pay? Uh, before even we go to the paying, uh, and I, wa I want to just tell uh, my friend Jeanette, you know, now they are very happy. They have uh, an agenda they can walk around and talk about, forgetting they were part of the problems th the days of the Grand Coalition. <coughs> but uh, when I look at the new constitution, and I think that is where, really, we must ask ourselves as Kenyans, when we agreed that we shall have a new dispensation, were well, we ready to take all the sectors to that new dispensation? Mm -hmm. Because I think even there is where now the courts come in and do a very an injustice way of managing the whole process. So for me, I am in support, yes, you pay the teachers. But at the same time, I'm asking myself, and I, before I even blame government, I want to ask the National Assembly, who in the new constitution are supposed to be the ones going back to parliament very fast, calling in the budget team, asking themselves where do we remove the money, and even they can release some of their CDF. You know, we are just here asking for one billion, yet then when you want to touch their 30 billion, they go, they go crazy. They won't even remember the teachers. And when you ask them, really, we are saying we're in a crisis. Can you, for, for the first time in the history of the country, <coughs> just remove one billion from your CDF, mm. they will be the ones who will now change and there will be a different battle in this country. Because that is where you can get this money, <coughs> to be very honest. You can remove it from CDF, even five billion. And then ask them just to, because the governors are already having money playing around in the counties with it. Uh, for me, them, they are the ones to do this budget for the country. Mm. Even if you talk to the president, he still needs the National Assembly to come in and prepare a framework. Where do we get this money? Then when we move on now, for me, I want to tell TSC, you release the money, yes, but can you wake up and also do your job right? Because really, you can't just sit pretty, go to court, wait, come. What were they waiting for? For me, this is the worst I have seen in all of them, that you sit down and wait, 
comfortably. And I'm saying this as Beatrice Elachi now. I'm mm -hmm. not, I don't want to say now as government. I'm just asking myself. You sat down, the ministry sat down, looked at them pretty, you, and forgot at one point you will have this crisis. It is very, very wrong. And at that time, the, the budget was being done. They would have come to the National Assembly, say we can see we have this court case. We don't know how it will end up. Let us just give us others more money okay. for the sake of this. If it happens, we are able to manage and move. The last thing I just want to say, mm. can TSC now crack the whip, pay the teachers, but follow up? Because even today when you see a young child constructing a sentence, it's difficult. It, it is so difficult, they are in standard five, they can't. Why are we paying the teachers? All right. And lastly, Serem, if indeed teachers are the same as the others, what the hell are we waiting for a clear guideline of saying you are all civil servants and this is how you must follow mm. and this is what we must do as civil servants and whoever doesn't want to stay TSC, you are the one to pay and right. suck. Why are you not even sucking the ones you don't want? So you've questioned the judicial processes and decisions that are being made from the courts. We'll get to that but first to the members of parliament and that there is power in you to mm. be able to give some of this money that largely when it comes to matters that touch on you, you're very fast to agree oh, on those oh, kind oh, of oh, things. Oh. What do you say to that? I agree with her that Parliament has a role to play to provide the money. But you see, <laughs> the budget is a process. <coughs> Parliament cannot just sit down and say, we have removed this amount of money from here to that, to that place. Parliament gets proposal from Treasury. When we go back, in, uh, now we are going back, but next year, around February or March, we get something called budget policy statement, for example, that mm -hmm. guide us on what the government priorities are. The Treasury again brings the budget proposals sent to different depart uh, departmental committees to decide on how to allocate those kind of funds. So Treasury has an integral part to play in this matter. It's not all about Parliament. It, you know, it's just passing the buck. It's just looking for a lame excuse for the failures of the government the executive, that the parliament has not done. Parliament has no role. Parliament does not collect taxes. Parliament does not keep the treasury of the country. Parliament, parliament just implements and looks and analyzes and legislates on what, what agenda that is brought to them. Okay. So uh, it's just... Uh, <coughs> and then when it comes to money, parliament, the National Assembly and the Senate are part of the problem. And when they talk about Sarah Seren, I weep because parliamentarians against express recommendation of Sarah Serem went ahead and blackmailed everybody and are earning almost three times the salary that Sarah Serem recommended and for which I keep on repeating and I repeat we will ask you to refund when you leave parliament but look at it this way when it comes to teachers salary to reallocate funds to pay teachers that is the work of the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. they, bet, they know it. You know, they are going around, round, round. They know it. Then secondly, they, as Kenyans, government is not a bottomless pit of cash. It collects 1.5 trillion shillings. Kenya shillings. That is what is divided. They did not budget for this new salary. So legislation has to be passed authorizing but while I'm getting with the teachers, yes. and initially they were asking for 300% increase, when government was saying, okay, then we'll do 50 to 60%, why say it if at all you didn't have money at the time? Because then mm -hmm. teachers are saying, you are being uh, dishonest during the times of negotiations, mm -hmm. and now when the court has agreed with them, then still, <coughs> they're refusing to budge. Now, let me tell you where I think a mistake occurred. Yeah. Teachers were fighting for the salary, Say we want this increase. I think government also went ahead to increase other allowances. So that as we talk today, they earn very fat salary. You add them, what they're asking, they'll earn, they'll earn almost three times an, an ordinary civil servant. Yes. That is what's happening. So I think the question now with the court orders is not whether government will pay. Mm -hmm. It should be when they will pay. And that is where I fault teachers. Because there was a court order on Friday. Then on Monday they went on strike. Contrary to law, law requires there must be a dispute, that dispute must have been declared, there must be a meeting on it, and then there must be a stalemate. Here, there is no dispute as to whether they are supposed to be paid because the court has cleared it. It is only when. 
And okay. that is when where government would say, look, we need this reallocation, we need to collect this funds, then we will pay you even in arrears. Mm. Now, when teachers have gone on strike today, yeah. that yeah. is an illegal strike. I'm Absolutely. telling them it's illegal strike, and we are unhappy about it as people of Kenya, and we tell you stop, because when payments will come, they will be in arrears even for the days that you didn't go to work. Let's not behave like we are in a jungle uh, area. That is where they get it wrong. Okay. Whether or not they'll be paid, I think now the court has cleared that.